Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today, let's do a light-hearted reading for each one of you. A good time to do a pick a card reading. And here, I'll be reading messages about love, healing, and purpose. So you can choose your pile with your intuition. We have three different piles. And this reading is more dedicated to your healing, emotional healing, soul level healing, dedicated to your purpose, where you are going in life and what changes you may witness uh, in the near future. So let's see uh, the three piles. Choose your pile patiently and let's uh, talk about the first pile. So this is the overhead view of all the three groups. Uh, the first group is rebirth or you can choose your pile by looking at the crystal. The first crystal is tree agate. The second one is recognition and the crystal is citrine. And the third one is the nurturance and the crystal is serpentine. So take your time and choose your group with your intuition. By one, you chose this tree agate crystal. I'm not sure it, was, it will be visible or not. But you can see a tree here, a pattern of a tree, I think a pine tree <laughs> or a Christmas tree. But yeah, so this is a crystal which is about spirituality, learning your spiritual lessons. And when you learn those lessons, you get more wise, you get more strong. Trees are a symbol of strength and endurance. A tree which is grown in your uh, garden and a tree which is growing by itself in a forest, that tree which belongs to forest, it will have deeper roots. It will have more endurance. It will go, um, it will go on for many, many years. So your roots are deeper. If you have faced some kind of you know, challenge and harshness uh, in the recent times or maybe even while growing up, it is all to make your roots deeper. Your roots are deeper than even you have any knowledge about it. You don't know much uh, about yourself, uh, group one. And uh, you carry a lot of wisdom. Trees are also a symbol of wisdom. Uh, it's, it's always said that you hug a tree when you feel very low. So it may apply to you as well because it makes you feel more grounded. It makes you much closer to nature as well. I have tried this hugging a tree and it's the best feeling <laughs> to be honest. So it's, it's about endurance, some kind of um, a very strong placement in Vrishakha or Mula Nakshatra for a lot of you people. And I think um, a very strong message which I'm getting here is you are acknowledging yourself um, despite of having so many people around you. I think it's time to focus on your growth, focus on your desires whatever you want to grow in life you chose this card <laughs> evening primrose it says rebirth so over here i said mola which is the root and it is also to be very precise mola is what a bunch of roots okay tied together and i also said vishak how it is about branches and you have the rebirth card here. Definitely uh, your journey, your path is so deeply connected to someone or some people. Because it talks about rebirth and rebirth. The first thing I, I got from this is soul contracts. And it's a very beautiful flower. 
and I was always fascinated to this particular flower. The color is so beautiful. The first time I saw this evening uh, primrose was in my school garden. And then there was this fairy tale I was reading in, and in that also there was a mention of this particular flower and one of my very favorite show in that also evening primrose was like a reminder of a certain promise. It was a reminder. It was given to the other person because it was being reminded that we have a contract. We have a promise which you have to fulfill. You cannot escape. So this is about rebirth of uh, a connection which happens in every life or it's about something uh, a bond which is never ending uh, with the person and there were lots and lots of wounds in this connection a bond which doesn't resolve it doesn't ends in that way see let's read this it says Evening primrose helps you to release old wounds and feelings of rejection, self-pity and other heart-heavy issues you may have carried from birth or early childhood. She allows for a sort of a spiritual rebirthing or a birthing of your true self so you can make room for joy, fun and playfulness in your life. So this is where you are going. This is, this is your future path of releasing negative feelings. It is about releasing all the wounds and the grudges and the self-pity you carry right now. Because it's, it's coming from a very young age and it is maybe something even about your previous journey. And this, this wound comes from a person. This wound comes from some kind of experience with a particular soul contract. This is what you are releasing in this life. I think um, the true healing for you, it's happening through forgiveness. And when you are forgiving yourself, you will find this uh, version of a joyful person within you. You have to discover joy. Look at this beautiful yellow. Yellow is about joy. It represents the Jupiter. And Jupiter rules uh, over your life force. It rules over the ninth house of luck, prosperity, abundance. So something about abundance. And this abundance will only happen when you go through this rebirth so you're finding yourself now your joy your playfulness is going to get restored and there's a lot of heavy-hearted energy you're releasing it you're releasing a certain very strong bond which is giving you hurt constant hurt and you're not finding any solution to that challenge so it's a rebirth for you if it's not a connection or a relationship a bond with someone then definitely it's a way of living how you have lived with some kind of guilt or pressure you're leaving it behind there's a lot of yellow orange energy to this pile if you see this another card and then you see this as well all uh, it's it's all jupiter it's all um the color of your sacral chakra which is about uh growth creativity as well giving birth to something so it's amazing the next card is gradual progress let things happen naturally be patient move slowly and deliberately stay focused on your goals be your best self and persevere it says just follow your goals don't leave anything in the middle uh, don't be afraid of the blocks coming into your life 
because you are in this process of rebirth. So continue, even you might be a bit concerned that whatever I'm doing, um, it's happening very slowly for me right now. I can't see that fast progress, that success, that growth, but you're doing your best. You are on the right path. You're giving birth to something beautiful in life. Again, birth. <laughs> it just happened. Rebirth and birth. So, you are reaching to a certain success. Because this card says, you are very close to achieving your goal, Gibbous Moon. Somehow the purpose for you is to give birth to something, to create something. And you are very close to it. This beautiful moon shows that you're very near to your completion. And I was talking about luck. I was talking about Jupiter. And over here we have line which says luck. Right? So, yeah, there's luck which you're inviting. And you will align with your purpose beautifully. Even if you don't know what your purpose is. Even uh, if you're feeling that, I don't know where I am what I'm doing with my life, I think you will be aligned with what is meant for you. That kind of luck is definitely there. And you have the Ganesha. So yes, uh, removing of all the obstacles is going to happen. So it says Sage. Let's read this card. What is night for all creatures is the time of awakening for the self-controlled and the time of awakening for all beings is night for the introspective sage. So this is about different phases of life. When others are growing, you see everyone flourishing around you and somewhere you are stuck and not growing. This is not a failure. In, instead, it's a time when you are learning a lot about life. It's more of internal growth. It's not the external growth which others can see. And like your timeline will always be different from others. Maybe some things in your journey are greatly delayed. But there are also some accomplishments which you are ignoring. You have achieved this before the other people. So something about timeline which you have to learn that your timeline is very different from majority of people and that doesn't mean that you are a failure or something like that we have this uh, card let's read the message negative feelings hold me back from being my best self the universe wants the best for me today i invite happiness love and light to enter my world so yes the major block is the negative feelings you have because ultimately you are in a process of losing a lot losing what was familiar to you losing a way of living the way you were living your life what you believed in the faith the ideas it's all going away and yes there are certain people, contracts, who are keeping you in this very difficult version of yours. You feel blocked, you feel negative. So it's time to just leave all of this behind. Don't let your negative mindset, negative feelings, negative ideas about self block you from the very best. Because this card shows that there's a lot of light success which is approaching you with this card something reaching to uh, accomplishment fulfillment but your negative thoughts are blocking you so with the sage card it is important to take care of what you think how you feel right now keeping a positive mindset is important and sage represents this very state where uh, whatever happens around you you are very focused it doesn't disturb you. you. You are in a very calm and composed state. Your crystal also shows that calm, composed uh, state of mind. So this is what you have to do.
to understand your endurance your power and don't let anything you know hit you so deeply um, this is what i'm getting and rebirth shows that now and maybe even in the future you may have some people or a significant person with whom you may have this very strong soul tie and uh, the message here is that you don't have to give up your happiness for such people or such a person because this rebirth you're going through you have learned your lessons very well you have learned very hard lessons with respect to how to be with people how to how much to share with people how you should work on your relationships as well so it's a rebirth where you're more wise you're more focused towards protecting yourself and your way of looking at life is changing so uh, these were the messages for you i hope you liked today's reading let's move to pile 2 pile 2 you chose the citrine crystal citrine is instantly uh, connected to prosperity citrine is also connected to um energe energetic a very energetic attitude a very positive attitude towards life and it is also connected to wealth so wealth is something which is important for you right now uh, to to gather resources to gather more comfort in life to see that abundance so this is what you are attracting um in the near future and also this is about finding happiness in whatever you do this is what you are attracting um your soul is attracting this happiness this feeling of being very proud of your achievements as well and yeah you chose the card recognition okay so it says sometimes it is easier to bury hurt feelings and difficult emotions black black eyed susan gently helps you to wake up and recognize all aspects of yourself even those you deem ugly or unworthy even your deepest darkest truths need to be shown the light of love and honored as a part of your human experience so this is what i was thinking a certain experience and how you felt with that experience it's a kind of a haunting it haunts you wherever you go and whether it's your work whether it's your social circle and your family life and it just happened i didn't feel you are responsible for that experience or event it just happened because behind all these situations we have something to learn there's always a lesson in some kind of a difficult experience and um it says that you have to show light to the most darkest and deepest corners of your heart and you have to stop living in the guilt and citrine is also the symbol of that positivity bringing more light into your life so the one of the most important message i'm getting for you is um this beautiful aspect of your personality who you truly are and it's it's always ignored by other people it's not recognized what is not working for you what is challenging about your journey maybe some failure which you have experienced people always think about that if you have a certain weakness they will point at that instead of focusing on your good things focusing on uh, every good aspect of your life so this is about firstly you recognize how amazing you are that confidence okay that i'm doing so well i'm a wonderful person 
and you're worthy of love. It's a very uh, dark uh, experience which I feel because it says, at the very end it says, even your deepest, darkest truths need to be shown the light of love and honored as a part of your human experience. So, you know, you, you really felt unworthy. People made you feel unworthy as if you don't deserve that love and affection. So you have to clear that fog, that very dense fog you carry within because it doesn't allow you to, you know, openly meet people. It doesn't allow you to open up and share your feelings. There's always some kind of hesitation. So recognize the beauty in you and this understanding of that you truly deserve love. I think the hurt which you have received, you were just giving that hurt to self, like it multiplied, it multiplied. You were getting some kind of damage from a damaged person and then you further damaged yourself. You multiplied it. We have this beautiful card. It's so, oh, it's like, <laughs> why am I getting this word? Hunting, haunted by something, fear of something, fear of, uh, someone or people pointing at your mistake or a difficult experience. See, it says uh, darkest truth. It talks about something which is buried within. And then we have a card. <laughs> secret. Secret of secrets. And if you see um, the goddess, she is almost trying to, you know, uh, hide the eyes of Lord Krishna. She's trying to, you know, block the vision. Some kind of a game. <laughs> but this is about, you know, recognizing the right people in your life. It's a very cute picture. And I'm not getting any word right now. Because Krishna... He knows everything. He knows everything. He doesn't, doesn't need to look at a, at a certain thing or in a, in a direction to know, to get the knowledge. Even if his eyes are closed, he knows what's happening. So this is the kind of a game where the goddess, the Radha, she is trying to, you know, keeping his eyes closed. <laughs> Because they both know what, what's happening in the world. It's just playfulness. There's, there's no secret to Krishna. Everything is out there in the light. So your truth, who you are, your beauty is known to the world. Even if people are rejecting that, even if people are not acknowledging it, you're not getting that recognition. People can see your light, your truth, and deep within you know that. It's just that they don't want this light to reach places. They don't want you to maybe flourish. That's why they just deny on your face, on your face that you're nothing. Okay, so this is about two things. One, who you truly are is not a secret. And secondly, uh, this beauty, this goodness of yours is going to be out there in this world. Like at one point, your success, your glory and who you truly are, it reaches to different places. It will grow so much that it cannot be denied or hidden. Nothing can block your vision. If people are trying to block your vision, inner truth <laughs> you know your inner truth that how much love you deserve and there is love in your life you must understand that love is playful it's it's not about being punished by people if you don't act if you don't say if you don't work 
as per their requirements, then you are getting punished in some way. Because we have the card, your commitment is being tested. It says first quarter moon. So your commitment is being tested, definitely. Your commitment towards family, your commitment towards your purpose in life, people trying to, you know, block your vision. Or maybe it's, again, some failure or it's very bad experience. It blocked your vision completely. And now your ability to, because you're so... Uh, in guilt with your secret of secrets that your commitment towards your true self, your work, your relationships is being tested. Where you are in your soul's journey, something is being tested and that is your discipline, your dedication and your commitment. Just see the face of Krishna absolutely uh, naughty, playful, giving that side eye. Hey, I know everything. <laughs> that kind of playfulness is coming into your life. Self-realization. Joyful state. This is what you're going to experience. And I think company of right people, maybe one or two, but right people we have this message of uh, i'm loved respected and appreciated today i will welcome the love of others into my life i'm safe secure in the love of those who care for me see this is what i was talking about the right people entering into your life and with them comes the love you you need to open up to experience that love some efforts you have to take those efforts some need some kind of change you must do we have this continuance apple taking care of your health taking care of your um, lifestyle that's what apple is showing and dedicated, disciplined efforts towards life. You have to do a lot with respect to your profession as well. It shows that hard work and dedication, which is required right now. So, yeah, it's a very beautiful pile with uh, the very clear message of right now, wherever you are in life, the commitment, the dedication is being tested but there is a lot of love which will pour into your life but you have to be open to that love okay and uh, be open-hearted and genuine again that inner truth because someone or other will try to you know paint your reality they will deceive you they will they will focus more on your challenges or your difficult feelings so don't view yourself through the eyes of other people recognize your true self and when you start doing that your confidence will speak your truth and there is more recognition financial abundance coming for you so that was the pile two let's talk about pile three Pile 3, you chose this serpentine crystal bracelet and serpentine is connected to the meditative state. It is greatly used in meditations to enhance your focus, to enhance your meditation power. Okay, and this is also about that spiritual awakening. So, Pile 3, yes, you have gone through some kind of awakening uh, recently maybe it was some kind of experience difficult emotional experience but it's not creating that heavy-hearted energy for you i think you're done with heavy-hearted feeling the last two piles were about some heavy-hearted feelings 
but for you you are done with it you are in a phase of life that you are healing beautifully and this is about awakening like i'm done i have learned my lesson i'm much more wiser and now nothing can block me so this enhancement of your spiritual quotient you're grown up you're so wise now this is the symbol and your your alertness your focus is now getting stronger but the serpentine shows some kind of lack of trust on the world okay let me wear this <laughs> uh, okay so the card you chose is the nurturance it says the the flower over here is the lady's mantle i've never seen this uh, flower for real just in the pictures like being held in your mother's arms lady's mantle brings feelings of gentle reassurance and joyful contentment to your body mind and soul especially during times of upheaval and change know that you are loved and fully supported in all ways you have the inner resources you need to be happy and whole so this is what i was talking about nurturance you are already done with some kind of a challenge and it could be a mother figure it could be the divine itself you were loved you were being supported and protected by some energy a very loving nourishing mother like divine energy it surrounds you something is so protective around you that you don't have to feel and that's why you healed very quickly from a setback because you have you definitely have this soft nourishing um energy divine protection there's a reassurance here that you will be protected always and that's why you healed very quickly from from a setback and uh, I think you are done with some kind of upheaval the only focus is that now you're taking care of your health taking care of yourself and how you treat yourself how you take care of your very own emotions and feelings you're very nurturing towards you your own self and this card also shows that this pile is having a lot of love towards other people like this the, the the love you have like everybody do have their own love language and your love is a very motherly love right and what happens when your love is like a mother it's hardly reciprocated it's always you taking care of everyone giving supporting and so on but it's it's a hard way of loving because there's less for you so now with this serpentine which shows a big shift in your wisdom and this nurturance i think you are creating that uh boundary that not everyone deserves this motherly love from me all right and now you are taking your resources your love to use it for your own self so that is um a purpose to use your resources and your love for your own self so this card is carrying a beautiful green and yellow uh theme this card also says nourishment how beautiful it is nurturance and nourishment beautiful green we have daffodil which shows hope yellow and green and we have a full moon eclipse still some uh, yellow orange hue in the moon so yeah a lot of positivity and fertility your productivity is going to get better your ability to uh, do your work to take decisions is going to get much better in life and we have this nourishment card 
let's read this nourish your body mind and soul love and honor yourself take care of others and empower them to help themselves be positive and optimistic nourish others to nourish yourself now this is a uh, difficult statement nourish others to nourish yourself basically you are someone when when you don't nourish other people until unless you don't show that empathy and nourishing way of love to others you feel very incomplete so you may still be stuck to this pattern of loving others like a mother but it also says that love and honor yourself and take care of others empower them to help themselves so there are certain connections in your life uh, maybe the family life especially where people are too demanding uh, of you like they will demand so much of extra care extra love extra efforts that now what you have to do is to make them learn to take care of themselves so that they can handle their um, different uh, needs requirements their daily schedule they can handle it by themselves let them learn to take that responsibility let them do their basic work it's not always you, you know, giving your time and resources and making everyone happy. So again, that motherly love, this is what it is. And uh, I think there's a great focus towards nourishing your own self, nourishing your own feelings and mind. And you'll be very protective towards yourself because somehow people took more from you. And we have the hope, a beautiful flower, daffodil. There's a lot more which is going to happen in this life. Uh, many exciting, beautiful things waiting for you. But yes, you have to be very hopeful and positive about it. Because there's a lot of regret which I see um, in your pile. Because we also have the serpentine. So this is also about being stuck in a certain fear, some kind of fear, phobia, and you don't want to deal with the situation again. I don't want to do this. I don't want to deal with it. Or there's some regret which is uh, blocking you. So this card talks about the regret. There should be no regrets in our life, only a history of lessons learned. Today, I will remember that everything that happens to me teaches me something valuable. So the harshness, the challenging bonds you were dealing with, again, you being the motherly figure and receiving nothing in return. This is about lessons learned. You have learned your lessons. Remember what I started the reading with lessons learned now you're much wise so this is what it's talking about you have learned a very valuable uh, lesson in the recent past and it has enhanced your spiritual quotient it has given you this big lesson look at this card offerings of devotion how the shiva became the medium to bring the river Ganga on earth. That is the greatest offering. And you became the medium to give a lot to others. You did your best. You have given your best offerings. And you did it with the whole heart. Lots of devotion coming through you without getting selfish that I will get anything in return. But it is not respected because I see the regrets. I see the regrets of doing the good to others because it backfired somehow. So this is a sign that whatever good you have done till now in life, it is not going to get wasted. It will come back to you it will come back to you in a multiplied way and whatever good you did in life your your actions 
and your loyalty, your devotion, the goodness you shared with other people, uh, it's not going to get wasted because every good you did is being offered to the divine. This card says, if one offers me with love and devotion, a flower, a fruit, a leaf or even water, I accept it, whatever you do or eat, whatever you offer or give away, whatever austerities you perform, do as an offering unto me. So whatever you do in life, give it to the divine. And this is a very beautiful way of working. No expectations, nothing but whatever you do, that beautiful work you are doing, it's your creative work, you're doing something good for a person, just do it in a form like it's a service to divine, giving to divine. It's a kind of surrender, it's a kind of way of living life beautifully because it's always the divine who, who is watching you and he is not judging you. The divine is not judging you, how you look and what you are doing based on your failures and success. There's, there's always love being reciprocated from here. Something cleanses for you, purifies for you. And you, you, you will attract a lot of genuine people now onwards. Or it's a blessing because we can see the Shiva and the Ganga that you will easily make out those people and those opportunities and situations which are really not good for you. There's a very heavy cleansing energy. What is not yours, whatever is not so pure, not so good for you, it will be washed away like a flood happened and it is washed away from your life. And that cleansing is happening for you. And like the moment I see this card, it's, it shows, hey, I'm giving you the power to understand who is right and who is wrong for you so that you can decide what to offer to that person. You don't have to waste your offering. And even if you do, remember that um, it's, it's been given to me. Like give everything to me. Give your uh, dedication, your faith and your hope to, to me. And I will take care of that. There's a lot of abundance, you know, pouring into your life. The devotion you have showed till now, it is coming back to you in form of abundance and cleansing because uh, it's something about an aspect of your journey which is dead. It's not working for you. It needs to be cleansed and it might get cleansed in a very forceful manner because you don't want to leave it behind. You don't want to get rid of it. Serpentine uh, reminds me of serpents, Ashlesha, Uttara Bhadrapada, clinging very hard to a situation. You don't want to leave it, but anyway, it will happen. Anyway, look at that snake around the neck of Shiva. And which you chose this serpentine. You're so, you're, there's something you're clinging so hard, <laughs> but it will be washed away. And this is also a symbol again of open your eyes, be aware, awareness. Yeah. And then at last we have full moon eclipse. It says conclusions are within reach. So you're finding answers. The next uh, most important aspect of your life is finding answers. You will get some kind of clarity, answers, awakening happens for you. And why these conclusions are coming into your way? Because see, you have to close a certain door and move ahead in life because there's a lot which life will offer you. Look at these three cards. 
one door is getting closed here and once it is closed you don't have to look back again you will find your answers and no one else is giving this to you but your observations your understanding of life and the situation the current situation you will realize the truth about something and then from there starts something new just bringing hope a lot of cleansing uh, is happening for you and all that love you carry within give it to yourself as well don't leave any regret okay no regrets for you it needs to go and then last was the nourishment taking care of your body take caring taking care of your health as well that is significant so that's it for the pile three i hope today's reading was helpful to you and see you in the next video take care goodbye